Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, my dear people of God. Today is July 1, 2019, Monday. It's a good thing to start a new month in the Lord. Uh, not just a new month, it's the beginning of the third quarter and the beginning of the second half of the year. I pray again that the Lord will see us through this year. By God's grace, January 1, 2020, we shall praise the Lord together. The topic for today is cheer up. And the Lord will cheer you up in Jesus' name. And the Psalm 22, verses 1 to 31, is the text. Let us pray. Father, we are very grateful to you for bringing us to a new day, a new week, new month. Thank you, Lord, because your love is new every day. And we are sure and we are rest assured that as we have entered another month, we will receive new miracles new breakthroughs, we will experience much more of your love. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Psalm 22. Let's read together. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the walls of my groaning? Oh, my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not hear, and in the night season I am not silent. But you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted you, they trusted, and you delivered them. They cried to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not ashamed. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men, and despised by the people. All those who see me ridicule me. They shoot out the lip, they shake head, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. But you are he who took me out of the womb. You made me trust while on my mother's breast. I was cast upon you from birth, from my mother's womb. You have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me, strong bulls of Bashan, have encircled me. They gape at me with their mouths like a raging and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It has melted within me. My strength is dried up like a potsherd. My tongue clings to my jaw. You have brought me to the dust of death. For dogs have surrounded me. The congregation of the wicked has enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them. And for my clothing, they cast lots. But you, O oh Lord, do not be far from me. O oh, my strength, hasten to help me. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth and from the horns of the wild oxen. You have answered me. I will declare your name 
to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All you offsprings of Israel. For he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Not as he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him, he heard, My praise shall be of you in the great assembly. I will pay my vows before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him will praise the Lord. Let your heart live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall worship before you. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth shall eat and worship. All those who go down to the dust shall bow before him, even he who cannot keep himself alive. If posterity shall serve him, it will be recounted of the Lord to the next generation. They will come and declare his righteousness to a people who will be born that he has done this. I want to say this before I move on, that this psalm is tagged the suffering, praise, and the posterity of the Messiah. Jesus quoted this psalm copiously, especially when he was going through the passion for us. And why am I saying this? Jesus has gone through the passion for you. You did not go through it again. And I declare, every power that is afflicting you, every power that is making you afraid, I declare the Lord shall bow their heads before you in the name of Jesus Christ. The topic today is cheer up. One basic lesson of life is that nobody is immune to problems. Even a lion has to fight of flies, as little as flies are. But the joy in any life's challenge is that no matter how dark the night is, it must surely break into day. Our text today offers us a deep insight into our Christian faith. The psalmist in his suffering appeals to God for deliverance. Faith does not prevent sufferings. In other words, that you believe in the Lord and you serve him does not mean that you will not suffer. You will be afflicted. Even Jesus went through suffering. As we follow him, we may likely experience the same as I believe you are doing right now. But the good news, however, is that God is near you to help you. God is near you to help you. This July will not come to an end before God helps you, before you are lifted out of that dungeon, before you sing praises to God again. But we need to beware of fair weather Christians. Uh, those who say to us that when you are a Christian, when you have faith, you will not suffer. No, the Bible does not teach us that. Suffering is not always a sign of someone's sin or a sign that God has abandoned a person. Like I said at the beginning, Jesus went through a series of affliction for us. That was not because he sinned, but because he was going to deliver us from our sins. Therefore, child of God, cheer up. The Bible says in Psalm 30 verse 5, Weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I declare into your home, as you step out today, your joy shall meet with you. 
as you go forth in this new month, you will meet with your joy. Your joy comes. Your joy will come and nobody will take that joy away from you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will replace your weeping with joy in the name of Jesus. You are in safe hands when you belong to Jesus. He cares. He is working his purpose out for your life. Just be patient. The husband man waits until he reaps his harvest and out of that challenge, you will give special testimony in the name of Jesus. Don't be discouraged. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for the life of your sons and daughters who are watching this, this morning. Whatever they are going through, Lord, I present them before you. You know how they feel. You know what they desire. Lord, I pray that you will meet them at the points of their needs in the name of Jesus. There are things people say are impossible. You are the God of all possibilities. Lord, stretch forth your hand upon their lives and make impossibilities possible in the name of Jesus. There are things that seem hard even to do. Whatever is it, an uphill tax in your life. I declare over you, the Lord will make it simple for you and you will succeed. All your failure shall turn to success. Poverty shall turn to wealth. Weeping shall turn to laughter in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.